Hi everyone, LazyFire here, and welcome back to Battlefield 4 Multiplayer. Today we're playing on Zavad 311, and I'm using a recon class. This is a rarity, as I... Right. Well, honestly, I don't really like the recon class. So, uh, I it, had a full... It's not really to do with their weapons, because the all-class weapons in this game are absolutely amazing. Ding. It has nothing to do with their the equipment, because they have some really useful equipment. It has to do with the majority of people who play the recon class. If you've ever played a Battlefield game, you've probably seen the guy with a sniper rifle so, who's sitting on a building or sitting on oh, a hill yeah. miles away off. from an objective and not really helping out anything, you know. He's yeah, so been on that hill the entire game. He has bird, one kill and 32 deaths. And uh, so I that me, is and still I how people play AI, Battlefield, unfortunately. And, and it makes it really hard sometimes like if you've got a team with two or three of those Man, guys, you might be okay. But if you have an entire team of those people or you have people who are afraid to capture points, you're probably going to lose the game. And that can be really debilitating for any team, uh, even if you have some really competent players. As a matter of fact, the goon game, uh, I'm in here, it's why you can hear people talking, I'm in a goon mumble. Um, they had some, we had some issues with uh, the people we were playing with, where if there was a tall building at the center of a map, people would be in a recon class on top of that building. It doesn't get you a point, you can just snipe from there pretty easily. And there's my volume meter, of course, I don't know why I didn't cut that out. Uh, and that's kind of the problem with the recon class. Dude, it's true, the reason a lot of people like to do this with the yeah, recon yeah. class is because Yellow it has class. exclusive access to the sniper rifles. Sniper rifles are really useful at a distance. Actually, that's where they're Let's best because uh, if people the, uh, can't really retaliate against you, the slow firing speed uh, and uh, really, really angry laser them. accuracy needed to hit some shots isn't yeah, as much of a disadvantage points. as it would be that's if you're trying to fire at someone up I've close. Never seen that before, you can also unlock the DMR long. category of weapons, like the one I'm using, the Mark 11 Mod Zero. It means if you really play the you recon class long enough, uh, 13,500 points, like the uh, carbine class or the shotguns uh, for engineer and support, respectively. The, sh uh, the sniper rifles in Battlefield 4 got a little bit of a boost over Battlefield 3 because of just one thing. They were allowed to zero again. Uh, this was something that was in Battlefield 2, apparently. I didn't play that game, actually, so I, I wouldn't be able to tell you if that was true or not. Uh, that's what I understand it to be. But in Battlefield 2 and in Battlefield 4, you can zero your scope. Which is to say, if you watch my, my screen here at the bottom, instead of having a uh, an ability to switch... Uh, how fast I fire, <laughs> like, like burst fire or anything like that, dude. I have a 0 and an M next to the V. Uh, that indicates that I am currently 0 so to 0 meters. About it means that anything like below spotting. 50 meters, I'm going to hit basically dead on easily. If I were to aim at something 300 meters away, and fire if I were shooting at something right next to me, I would miss the shot. It would go low, or it would hit lower than it was expected to. But if I hit V a couple times, my sights will zero up to 300 <laughs> nice. meters, and right here I got con kind of confused as to what was shooting me. There was a guy on E, almost took me out there. I didn't, Anyways, it'll zero up to 300 meters, which means that I will actually be able to hit that as if it was right next to me. Of course, I that does not account for bullet travel time, and zeroing is only so effective. You can only bring it to 1,000 meters, and that's still pretty far, I mean, oh, but man. people yeah, can hit shots that are 700 meters or something like that with assault rifles if they know what they're doing. Uh, but zeroing <laughs> Jesus, is a man. really big boon to snipers because uh, in Battlefield 3, if you're trying to hit a really far distance shot, sometimes you would have to aim down the site and then aim up into the Ooh, air. I got extra rockets. And look at that, that's some spawning right there. Use them. Uh, but then you'd have to aim up into the air and uh, hope that the bullet dropped just enough to hit somebody. Now, snipers still have to account for travel time of the bullet. So when you get hit from a thousand meters away or Kinda from somewhere field. away when you're running, that guy knows what he's doing. He could actually be an asset to he's the team, carbine. and you should probably take him out so you he can't keep doing that sort of thing. However, if someone is, uh, you know, 50 feet away from you, zero is up to 50 feet or 50 meters, and uh, just fires three shots on you, then they're kind of useless and you shouldn't worry too much about them. What? draws people to the top of buildings with sniper rifles yeah, or the hills and they stay there the entire game, I, also, I couldn't tell you. You generally don't do a lot of damage up there. Oh, and here I am just messing with the chat a little bit. Uh, I'm not really good at messing with the chat, but sometimes uh, I just get bored with playing the game and figure I'll just do this. You don't say. Anyways, 
it, it doesn't really I, make sense to me. I like to be I'm in the just, thick of things, though. I don't really I just, like I this just, game where you stay as far away as you can and try to get your the highest KD possible. That doesn't make sense to me. I want to be capturing points. I want to be helping teammates. You know, that sort of thing. So, to me, standing as far away as possible doesn't really work that great. And it's 742. I don't know why I thought 142 here. It's the Simpsons address. Anyways. Oh, I have Zuni Rock. Oh, goody. The big like draw Rockets. to the sniper class, or the big really uh, advantage the sniper class has, recon class I should say, uh, I over other classes Joe, is its ability the, to the laser the lock map, for the engineer. So. And this uh, makes it really dangerous against vehicles. There's actually two weapons that can do this. The Soflam, which is a plantable object, oh, you can put yeah, it down yeah, on the ground and then uh, use it remotely, or you can let it uh, check things the or they, they scan things uh, automatically. Uh, uh, but, you know, moving it around automatically yourself actually helps out a lot. Or you can use what I have in my uh, number in four LED. slot, the really PLD, or Personal Laser Designator, which works dudes. similar to the Soflam. It will allow you to uh, kind of uh, just sight in on vehicles of all sorts and, you know, make it so oh, engineers who are using laser lock-on weapons are able to hit something. That's a huge boon to the team. Unfortunately, it doesn't get used as much as it could. Instead, a lot of people who use recon like to concentrate Man, on three objects. Right now. One is the so radio beacon. You'll also hear me call ah, this the spawn beacon. Go. I don't have it set up now, but you may have seen it in the uh, infantry and in basics video I did. At which point I said that basically you're able to spawn off of it the if your squad member happens. puts it down, or if you put it down, and only your squad can spawn on it. So that's how that works. And the, the thing's pretty durable. It can be really bird. effective if you're rushing a point yeah, and you throw one down, I you're able to let your squad spawn on it. But what you see a lot of the time is a sniper or I'm a recon will get up into and, uh, a favorite position <laughs> and throw it down, just you know, toss it on the ground, and they will spawn on it constantly the themselves so they can get back into their sniping position if they die or if they, uh, if they suicide and then jump back in I don't know. if they run but, out of ammo. Oh, my little bird died. That's unfortunate. The little other little thing bitch. that they use a lot is called the TUGS, or T-U-G-S. It's there a plantable a, motion sensor that will tell you if like somebody's moving within a... Uh, basically, it's actually a cylinder rather than a circle here. around your character or around that thing. Oh, it's useful, yeah, it's uh, especially uh, if you're trying to capture a point and you know enemies are going to be coming at you. It can be really useful then. I'm going to switch to that ACOG soon, so don't be surprised when you see that transition. Uh, now, however, there's also the other motion right, sensor, which is actually just called a motion sensor. A it is a and, uh, throwable object. You heard me call it a whiz ball in the face. infantry video. You basically Athens. toss it, and just, it will uh, pick up on motion in a certain radius for a set amount of time, and then disappear. So... Those are both really useful tools for oh, assaulting or capturing points, but most of the time, uh, the TUGS or TUGS just gets planted, yeah, we really and get no one really considers that. anything else. It, it's just used to make sure We're if people power. are approaching, you know about there's, it. There's three of them. Finally, the Claymore. This is actually something that was in the support oh. class in Battlefield 3, and it was transferred over to the recon class along with C4, oh, no, that, that and during that development, Delta. people said, well, that makes the support class kind of useless, in some ways, it gives them nothing that they can do against any vehicle. So they actually transferred it over back to the support class and the recon class. So it's one of the very actually it's the those two uh, C4 and the Claymore are the only two multi-class objects in the game. Anyways, the Claymore is uh, you might have seen it earlier on when I walked past a teammate who had one down. It sets out a couple of wires, and if someone trips one of those wires on the enemy team, the Claymore explodes and may or may not kill them depending on how fast they react and if it's set up properly or not. So, those are kind of the really normal things to see on recon classes. You will not probably see a ton of the laser designators uh, because, well, they don't, they don't allow you to spawn an area, they don't allow you to check yourself, but they they're really useful. That's actually the biggest way to get points as a recon is to start tagging right, so everything. As a matter of fact, there was a bit of a glitch a with the Soflam and another object, the MAV. It's a uh, mobile aerial vehicle or something like that. And it is actually just... Uh, there's actually a video, I'll link it in the thread, uh, called the Tribute to the Fishy Flyer that Lotax did. And the MAV is this little uh, aerial robot you can fly around. Uh, and it will actually... If you yeah, put a soul flame down and flew the Mav around, you could look at objects on the ground 
and laser lock it's into all the vehicles. The tower, um, east side. And that is just amazing. That was a bit of a glitch, but it yeah, would allow people who had uh, smart engineers to go ahead and just absolutely dominate a game just because the engineers would be able to destroy everything on the ground and in the air uh, before enemies could do anything, and Responding the person like who was laser locking would get a ton of points for doing it. So it was a really sensible option. Right there, I don't know what hit that guy. It looks like uh, another helicopter or something. That laser. Just very weird to see all that shit hit him that fast. Anyways, the MAV, as I mentioned before, is just a little robot that you can toss on into the air and guide around. It actually also serves as a mobile uh, motion sensor, if you really want to use it that way. It'll sense people in an area and put them on three... Uh, when you have something in motion sensing, it doesn't put it on 3D spotting, it puts it on the minimap spotting, so be aware of that fact. No, I don't Anyways, hey, hey. you can use it that way, or you can use it to EMP blast uh, objects like claymores, C4, mines, and such, or you can use it to explode ammo crates, spawn beacons, and the like. Like, here's a spawn beacon, by the way. I was take that right out, get some points for it, and then go after an AA gun. Not really my finest moment here. This is actually kind of yeah, dumb. Blow it. Just, just say when. But I just got hit with another DMR, it looks like, there. Actually, is that a sniper rifle? I think that's a sniper rifle. Get it. But you can hear a, a bit of a noise when someone fires a, uh, a rifle at me like that. It's... That whip crack noise yeah, is actually like what you hear every time uh, somebody misses no. you with a DMR or a sniper okay. rifle. Someone Very annoying, especially it. after the patch yeah. that buffed the DMRs. Then, uh, so you, uh, it's said, just the sound barrier breaking, basically, but yeah. every so shot having that noise it can get really annoying. Oh, worth mentioning also <laughs> nice. with the sniper rifles, and I completely Good forgot job. this, and I'm off into the uh, category of everything. Uh, different gadgets. But the sniper rifles are actually one of the two weapon types that can cause suppression. I don't think they're supposed to, but they can. The LMGs and the sniper rifles both seem to cause a degree of anyways. LMGs are supposed to be the category that does it, and it'll cause your screen to get a bit blurry, your aim won't be as great and everything like that. It's a really useful ability. That is why support are one of my favorite classes. Even if you don't kill somebody, you can actually make them really ineffective for a long time. And that'll sometimes give you a chance to figure out a strategy Whoa. to fight them or kill them yeah, or something like that. Right. Anyways, the MAV is really useful for those things. That's Being correct. able well, to was. blow that up and spot ABD people and all this other stuff with an MAV is, sort of, uh, is really helpful. And I, when I see somebody with an MAV, I <laughs> yeah. hope that's what they're so using it for. What happened? Okay, watch this moment here. I toss this thing, I run here's away from it, which I actually ran into it, so here's what happened. and someone followed run, me through MRF, that smoke and, uh, and fire and <laughs> ended up killing themselves. Killed One of those moments that you only get in Battlefield, I guess. I don't know. Oh, right the there, all that explosion you saw, that's a mortar truck that did all that. Somewhere out in the woods there, there's a uh, enemy mortar truck just firing rockets into this area. So I'm in a bad spot. Right here is really a good look at the PLD. Now you can see something else that you're seeing there is that it tells you the range. Uh, the PLD can be used as a poor man's range finder if you really need it and tell you what you need to zero your sights to. Not really a bad idea if you don't have a range finder which is an attachment for sniper rifles. Actually, it can be really nice. effective that way. Dude bros in that uh, train. Now, if that you dude. are a recon and you happen to want to blow up vehicles, you can switch to C4, which I have here. Uh, you get three C4 bricks. That's all. You only really need two to take down most vehicles in this game, thankfully. Uh, and that's just an effective way if you want to be a recon to actually contribute something. It also means that as a recon, you can jihad jeep. I, unfortunately, don't spend a lot of time in recon, and... Oh, man, this is... Proof that I don't spend a lot of time in recon right there. there any, any, I could any, not hit that any, guy. Uh, he also gets into the chat in a any, moment any armor and calls there? it a noob semi. Uh, he wasn't even really firing on me, so I don't know what he's complaining he about. The, uh, artillery. So one of the big things about the recon class is just wow, the totally, ability uh, to be helpful to the team. Oh, and the like I said, bitch. a lot of people don't really concentrate on that. They concentrate on uh, sniping kills, so that's unfortunate. Anyways, yeah, here we are, trying to contribute, getting onto these points, holding do. on to these things. Right here, yeah, it looks like somebody's good. activated the levolution on this and knocked down the uh, smokestack, so you can see how this area has changed pretty effectively. 
One of the things to remember about the recon class is that they do not have anything that uh, throwable that can like, replenish anything on the team. So the support class has their crash. ability to throw down ammo packs. You made the the, crash? Uh, yeah. the assault class has the medical Good. kits and everything. Uh, the engineer yeah, can repair mistake. vehicles, but they can't or throw anything the down. But the recon class was really only useful for marking targets and uh, calling out uh, where positions are with recon uh, with sensor equipment. So when you're playing recon, it's not really a points fest like some of the other classes are. You have to be ready to take a few less crash. points. Not a huge problem, really. Hilarious. Now the DMRs in this game. I'm not really great with them, so you won't. Don't expect to see too many great kills. I think this is kind of a showcase of what they look like in the hands of an average person. I still do pretty well because this is a map that's kind of well set up for hanging back and taking a couple pot shots every now and again, especially if you want to use a sniper rifle from the top of one of the buildings over at DRC. Uh, but because I, like I said before, I play a little bit aggressively, even uh, as a recon, knowing that I'm better off at medium to long range. Is the PS4 like uh, way worse? Uh, that's uh, that's sort of how I work. Right here, I'm making use of all the little ladders and everything on this map. This is one of the things I really like about this map, is just the ability to get on top of these buildings. Sometimes the only way to get on top of these buildings is by taking a helicopter up there. Uh, there's actually a term towards that end of things. It's, uh, it's called the helicopter elevator, uh, or mobile elevator, is what sometimes these things are called. Right there, I, that's why I love the PLD and I love Pubby sometimes is their inability to figure out what the hell they're doing. Because that guy popped flares literally the second I had a lock on him. And watch, watch this again. I mean, just you mark these targets, I get 25 points for it. That's not bad at all. I mean, people would really love to have that many points just that easily. But being able to harass vehicles, and air vehicles especially in this game, is just a vital, vital importance to a team. Being able to stop an air vehicle from going through a certain area and all that stuff, that's really that's effective. The best way to kill and you Squish. can do that, you do that without having the ability to take out that vehicle. <laughs> and that just means that you can be a complete jerk if you really want to. So, that's how I play the recon class when I'm in a map like this. Come on, Lav. Let's run away from the tank. But, there's one more item we do Ooh, need to talk like about. Now? when we talk uh, about the Recon resort, class. The, the Recon well. class was one of two classes to actually get a new item in the China Rising DLC. And that is the SUAV. It's a uh, remote-controlled UAV plane, and it is able to laser designate stuff in the air, and uh, it uh, vehicles just tank? like right across the combat zone. So there was also a time where you could actually use that thing, I kid you not, oh to roadkill everyone in your path. You could bowl through them. Uh, this is actually very similar to how the MAV worked in Battlefield 3. Oh, by the way, you're supposed to be able to shoot that hatch open, but I think I was shooting the wrong space. But in Battlefield 3, in the early days of Battlefield 3 anyways, you were actually able to uh, fire on, or use the MAV to just plow through people with no ill effect to the MAV, as long as you didn't hit the ground too hard. And... Oh, watch this. I'm going to get some points for people IM hitting this guy, area. I believe. It takes a few seconds. Or maybe I die here. I can't remember which. Ah, but I got my suppression watch assists. That's one of the fun things. You actually get suppression assists, I should mention, Seriously. with every class when you uh, miss a couple shots or they get close. But with the DMRs and sniper rifles and LMGs, it seems that they're those are a little bit exaggerated. Wow, uh, I have a instead puppy Instead of gunner being kind of minimal. So I jumped a bit in this video because, uh, well, honestly, there's not a lot to talk about with the recon class. Even though it does have a number of uh, pieces of equipment and everything, it's not a really exciting class to watch. Like I said, you spend a lot of time on top of hills and such. So what am I going to talk about for 45 minutes as a recon, right? Actually, no, that's not fair. Uh, it does not take 45 minutes to finish this yeah. round. Now, if you have any questions on any of the vehicles or the concepts like zeroing or anything like that, make sure to check the thread post. I, of course, go into detail on that and explain kind of how everything works Woo! there. I actually have a competent uh, But helper at this point, we're, we've actually taken out a ladder on the side of the building. Uh, I'm just... Look at this wall, by the way. This is kind of what I love about 
the cool. Battlefield Thank franchise you. is you Where's start their, off on uh, these semi-pristine, semi-nice areas, and as time goes on, things just blow up, they uh, fall apart, cover changes, all this other stuff. Just it, It's <laughs> really fun to watch, and, and it's really effective in, in terms of a gameplay mechanic. Yeah, of this is uh, this is where I, I kind of went on a spree of really dumb kills here. Ooh, canted iron sights. Let's talk about those for a moment. Those are actually really fun for the classes like uh, the sniper classes and everything because you're able to put a sight on the top of your gun like say the ACOG I have here and then you can hit the T button and switch over to a different attachment uh, in this case iron sights and you hold your gun at a 45 degree angle like you're fucking a gangster and uh, it, it's actually pretty great to look at and kind of embarrassing for people to see they got killed by a guy holding a canted iron sight this is, this area, while it's not my favorite thing to do, is kind of where the recon class is effective. Getting up here and firing down on people. Like I said, a lot of people take this uh, this map especially as an invitation to get on the very, very top of these uh, buildings and just fire down at whoever. But I try to be a little bit more varied in my tactics. but. This is, honestly, a really effective space to be in. Especially if you have people flooding in from that B area there to try to take the objective I'm standing on. This is a workable solution. Faster. And especially if they're out in the fucking woods like this guy is. Uh, my th theory here is that if they are going to hang out there, they kind of deserve it. Let's mention, I, I want to mention one more thing with the recon class really quickly, even though this applies to all classes Roman. that have magazine-fed weapons. Moving. You actually start off with a bullet in the chamber Not when you uh, have a, a magazine-fed weapon. So that means that I have 21 bullets in here, despite the fact that the you know, ammo capacity for this gun might be 20. And okay. if I fire all my rounds and I reload okay. a gun, I'll have 20. But if I reload again after that, I will put another magazine in, and I'll have 21 rounds. That's kind of a neat little thing Battlefield does. Not a lot of games do that, which is kind of unfortunate, because it's a little bit more realistic in a lot of situations where you have a bullet in the chamber or something. Good job, guys. Nice. <laughs> One of the things I, I really like about the, uh, this map in particular, the last uh, there's these little things you can activate first off, but two, there's a lot of levels to it. Uh, some people like to use the phrase verticality kind of no as a, a joking thing against uh, former Call of Duty, uh, uh, as well. Sorry, Infinity War community understand. manager Robert Bowling at one point too. used the phrase verticality to describe some of the map packs he no, had. No, 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 But I this almost, is... Uh, oof, that was an explosion from a mortar truck I, if I ever saw one. I, I, uh, this map has a lot of verticality it, to it, unfortunately. Uh, that's the best way to describe it. Whether you're on top of this via, this building here, or it? you're on top oh. of that radar dome I was at earlier in the game, yeah. or you're hanging out on a tree or in a cliff or something like that. Always helpful. All the oh, wow. I didn't There's zero a, there, but you couldn't really see the bullets it. either, so that was uh, unfortunate. Charlie. That could have been a really good example of what zeroing can do for you if I thought to do it. We are uh, super, uh, super and here's here. me just futilely I'm attempting to shoot the pilot out of this thing. <laughs> I used to be really good at this in Battlefield 3, but I just have not been able to do it yet here. And I'm spotting this guy so I know where he is in a moment, but it looks like Ooh, he bailed yes. out and sent his friends out to the ground. If I had motion sensors on this class right now, they would be really effective. They'd allow me to oh, oh, throw one down there and get those guys on the, uh, the spotted God damn it. for uh, the minimap and everything. But no such luck. Oh, I switched over to... I actually switched over to C4 and the PLD because I thought I'd be doing a lot of action reconning, and it's for the most part true. But I still want to show off, you know, this whole thing, how this, this class is supposed to... Or yeah, how this I mean, class is played. I mean, Maybe not supposed to be played, but over there. I'm pretty effective up here, even if uh, I'm Woo! not doing great. I'm a little bird. Oh, by the way, apparently that little uh, that little thing there, that little crossbeam, uh, that actually affects I'm the ability to, to the, uh, use a PLD on it. Man's at e. But I'm up here, I'm tagging vehicles as they leave spawn, oh, I'm their AA trying to keep people from jumping yeah. into these buildings, so I'm doing pretty well for myself, actually. Like this is okay, one of my better games that night. Bail. I was just Your doing shit that game there that night. And just watch me miss every one of these shots. Oh, there's a shitload of people. Even stop moving and I missed all the shots. I'm bad at this game sometimes. There's a guy stealing a mortar truck, but he jumped out. I keep 
I, I just wanted to stab this guy when he got to the top. That's all I wanted in life. And watch this. <sighs> Everyone was after this guy. Actually, I have five C4. I think that's because of, of my class setup, my class, uh, my squad upgrades. And watch this. I get some points for the vehicle getting Whoa, hit there. Shit. Not bad. That's 85 points for just tagging uh, the vehicle. I'm sorry, Anyways, my because I have a squad I upgrade, I can actually into. carry five C4 I at a time. Something with my rotor, that I think. is actually a lot for a recon. The support class, when they use it, can actually re, uh, refill their own supply of C4 with their ammo crates or ammo packs. And not being able to do that with a recon can be kind of detrimental to things like jihad jeeping or attacking multiple trucks at once or multiple vehicles. <laughs> Man, everyone was fired on me there. It looks like our mortar truck I actually dropped some shots on that guy, though. You can see there's a number of those people just hanging out ass. on that bridge over there. I want to get on the very top of this building just to show it off, but I'm just not able to do it. As a matter of fact, I fall on the side. Really not want good. to go over there My, and shoot all I can't those even mans. navigate stairs as a recon. I don't know why. But once again, you can't jump on the ladder, and you're supposed to be able to shoot the hatch open from below. Yeah, I, I, just, I think it's the center, Easy maybe? I, I'm not sure. A... Oh well. Easy way to trick Let's take a, a look. Of the engineer. When you see now watch this. For no reason, and he's probably using his I'm finally able to kind of figure out what really distance like. I need to fire on that guy from. That guy is fucking uh, but still not effective. I almost killed an this a is a kind of the big problem uh, with DMRs with is you have to figure out exactly what distance to fire at. This ACOG is actually a bigger problem here, to be honest with you. I want to shoot another man. But there is a lot of bounce with each shot. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll I see you next time. I need to stop spawning. Like, I'm just giving away kills.